Hello everyone and welcome back to another art video. This week I'm doing something really exciting for me. So as an artist it's always been my dream to really you know go somewhere with my art and not just do it for fun but actually make it a career. And well today I am actually illustrating the cover of a book. Like an actual book that exists in real life that I can hold with my actual hands. And to me that is just like it has been like such a cool opportunity to be able to do this and to work with this author. And I'm going to give you guys a bit of a story on how it happened. So, as you guys know, my aunt is an author and she took me to an author's convention last summer. And while I was there, I was telling all the authors about my YouTube channel and about how I do like book reviews and stuff like that. And I met this author named Christina Benjamin, who you guys have heard me talk about before. Um, she wrote the Geneva Project and she wanted me to do a novel illustration for her. So of course I was like, hell yeah. Um, so I did the novel illustration for her and she liked it a lot and we got along really great. She's such an awesome, sweet person. And she told me that she has this idea for a series of prequels to the Geneva Project that are like short novellas, so they're not like full-length huge novels, but they're really fun to read and they're really great for people who love the Geneva Project because it like gives a little bit of insight onto the background and the history of the original story. So she wanted me to illustrate each of the covers of the prequels. So this is actually the second one I've done. I actually did another one that was a different watercolor painting that you guys will see back on my channel. Um, I did it back in November. It was called The Christmas Gift. Anyway, um, but this time I wanted to talk to you guys about like the process and how it happened. So anyway, so she emailed me after I did the novel illustration and she was just like, hey, you should, you know, illustrate my books for me. And I was like, yeah! And it's just been so cool to actually hold a piece of my art in my hands that's been used for an actual book cover. And it's just like so surreal to me that I'm actually achieving my artistic goals and actually doing something with my art. And to me, this is like just the first step. Um, I eventually would love to illustrate children's books and all kinds of books and do more covers and maybe even write my own book one day. So this is just like a step in the right direction for me. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little backstory on this and why I'm so freaking excited about it. Um, anyway, I will have a link to the book in the description box below. You can buy the hard copy now and ebook are on pre-sale. I think they release the 24th, either the 24th or the 26th of this month. Um, so yeah, definitely go check it out. Go check out Christina Benjamin's work. Her books are so amazing. I think she has three books out that are full-sized. This is the second novella and just, they're great. She's great. She's an amazing author and I'm so happy I got to work with her. So now I will talk a little bit about the painting itself. Um, it is, it does have something to do with the book. I don't want to give too much away, but um, it's a watercolor painting. So I used my Grumbacher watercolor pans and it was really fun to work on this because I loved putting all the little details in the flowers and you kind of see I go back and forth between painting and actually drawing in more flowers because it was a lot to draw all at once and I kind of wanted to space it out because it's kind of, you know, time consuming to sit there and paint each individual flower. So it helps if you kind of like break it up and take breaks and go back to do other things. Like I would take a break and I'd paint the gears or I'd do some more stuff in the sky and I'd come back to the flowers and draw some more and paint some more. So that's kind of how my process went. And then a recurring theme that we have going on through the novellas is that we have a silhouette somewhere in that. So the silhouette this time is a fairy and she's an important fairy to the story and you guys will just have to read the book to find out who this fairy is and why she's so important. Um, but yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it was a lot of fun working on this piece. It was very relaxing, even though after a while it can get a little consuming to, you know, paint all those flowers, but it was really relaxing and really fun, and I had a blast doing it. And 
think that's actually all I have to say for this piece. So yeah, definitely go check out Christina Benjamin's work. I will have a link to the book. Oh my gosh, I don't think I named the name of the book. Oh my gosh, my brain is in so many different places right now. Um, the name of the book is called The Timekeeper's Daughter. I probably should have mentioned that in the beginning, but there it is. The book is called The Timekeeper's Daughter, and I will have the link in the description box below so you guys can go buy it and go hold this amazing book in your hands that I did the cover for, which is just like, wah! So, yeah. And then go check out all of Christina Benjamin's other work. Go give her some love. I will have her, her social media links in the description box below. And that's about it. So you guys have an excellent week. Thank you for watching. Go show Christina Benjamin some love. And yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. All right. So I will see you guys in my next art video. You all have a wonderful week. Bye.